You don't have to go ahead and buy an expensive prime lens to create a beautiful shallow depth of field. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create the same effect in Lightroom. And I'm going to start right now. Now, traditionally, if you wanted to create a shallow depth of field effect, you'd have to buy one of these, an expensive prime lens. This lens here has got an aperture of f1.4, which can create a beautiful shallow depth of field effect. But the problem is, this is a very, very expensive prime lens, setting me back around £2,000. So is there a way that we can create a shallow depth of field effect without spending £2,000? Well, thankfully, Lightroom Classic has got us covered. So all you'll need to do is go ahead and choose a photo. Go ahead and open up the develop panel, then drop down to where you can see it says lens blur. If you don't see this available, make sure that your Lightroom Classic is up to date. Then all you'll need to do is go ahead and click apply. What Lightroom Classic will do is it will look at the photo, work out what's in focus and what's out of focus and create a shallow depth of field effect. And as you can see, straight out of the gate, it looks really good. But if you wanna change some of the custom controls, you can. So for example, you've got your blur amount here, we can actually increase and decrease the amount of blur found in the background, as well as if your photo has got bokeh, you can change the type of bokeh with five different varieties, as well as you've got a boost slider for that bokeh as well. Below that is probably the most important slider is your focal range slider, and you can change both the depth of field as well as the focus plane of your image. So for example, if you wanted to change the focus plane, let's say we wanted our background to be in focus, you can go ahead and slide it to the left or slide it over to the right, where if you wanted to create a more shallow depth of field effect, you can go to these toggles found on the left and right hand side and simply reduce that down. Also, if you wanted to create a wider depth of field, what you can do is go to these toggles and go ahead and stretch those out. Now, if you want to know what's in and what's out of focus, all you'll need to do is click this visualize depth button. What this will do is it will visually show you what's in focus and what's out of focus. So red and warmer tones are usually closer to the plane of focus and then background colors are usually blue or black. And you can see that in this image here. Now, if you want to clean up this mask, you can do by going to the focus button and paint what's in focus or what's meant to be in focus. So for example, the uh, kind of jetty at the bottom here, we can paint that back in again and spend a little bit of time doing that. As well as if you wanna paint things that are out of focus, you can go ahead and do so by choosing the blur button. And you've got a few sliders here where you can custom control it. But of course, if you'd like to learn more about the lens blur tool, make sure to go ahead to my YouTube channel where I've actually made a masterclass series. But there we go guys, that is how you can create a beautiful shallow depth of field effect thanks to Lightroom Classic's brand new lens blur tool. Here is the before and here is the after. And of course, if this particular tutorial helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.